Combat Sports UK. Congratulations on the win tonight and welcome to the PFL. Thank you. Do you feel like the move to featherweight is a better fit for you and how does it feel to not have to cut down spam like Okay, so that for, I've been trying to make it for years and I've wanted to move up four years because it's, for me, it was a barely thing and it was months and months of work to get there and still it's like, I don't know. And just feeling like crap all the time. I couldn't do a lot of stuff. So moving up to 45, I just feel, I feel healthy. I was able to enjoy my fight week and I like barely a cut. So it's like, it went from feeling absolutely awful most of the time before a fight, all the way up until like trying to recover right before it, to all right, I feel good. That's great. I'm sure you're going to be able to make a great one next year in the Pennsylvania division. So, those that probably know that you are a huge hiker, what benefits do you get from hiking and do you consider it a part of your MMA training regimen? <laughs> no, I can say that about part of my life. So, my grandpa started taking me when I was five, and I just never stopped. I was just on my, the phone with my um, brother, so one, the one that does MMA too. He's what. Yeah, Shaler. He's uh, watching my dogs, and as soon as I land tomorrow, he's gonna come get us, and we're going for a hike. Yeah, I I miss all of it, all of them. Thank you. Elated. I went through some serious health struggles, not just my knee the last couple of years, like. Uh, it was bad. Autoimmune stuff, lost all my hair. This little shave down is not because I wanted to. It's because I had nothing left. But uh, And just getting healthy again and feeling good and being able to live and fight and do what I love and not feel like crap. Like It's been years of a lot of difficult stuff, and it's a huge relief. I think Larissa has progressed incredibly. She's uh, done very well with her striking. I think Kayla has been the queen for a long time, but if you look at either one of their resumes, it's absolutely nothing compared to people that I have fought and have come in fighting. So you have uh, different levels of experience with different levels of opponents. Hey, Aspen, uh, so when a Marine decision, if it was a split decision, do you think that you had won uh, at the end of the so at the end of any fight like that, there's always doubt. And I felt that I did enough, absolutely, but it's still a frustrating situation. She's a very tough opponent, and you never know. You never know until they call out your name. So of course, I was nerve wracking. Did I think I did enough? Yes. What did you think were the strongest points uh, of you with this fight? The first round. The first round, definitely, because there are certain things that we drilled over and over and over again, and we knew for a fact she was going to throw that push kick. And there are several other things that we knew she was going to throw. And like the sweep in the first round when I got um, a little overzealous and fell off. We've been drilling those things since the second we knew we had this fight based on what she does, her predilections, what she's good at. And it all just worked because I didn't have to use my brain. My body knew. Thank you very much for the Thank you very much. Hey, that works, man. Welcome. All right. All right, good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.